Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Now today is episode 3 of the JDA coding tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to use events as well as roles to add to users for when they join the server. We're going to be doing a quick project where if a user joins the server, we're going to add a role to them. So I'll show you how to do it step by step in this video. So anyways, let's get started. <music> Let's hop back into Eclipse from last episode. Uh, last episode we created a clear command, if you haven't checked that out, link down below in the description. And also, I have all the source code for all the previous episodes down below in the description as well, so you could check it out and see how things are gonna go. I'm gonna just go back from where we left off in the last episode, we haven't really changed much from the first episode anyway. But uh, let's get started. So today is gonna be events. I know we've already done a few events. We've done the guild message received event, but today I wanna do an event where the user joins and when a user leaves, so it sends a few messages to notify the server. So let's get started here. So we're gonna quickly go over here and let's make a new package for events. We have a package for commands, but let's create one for events. So just right click on your main package, click new, click package, and then just type events over here. And I still haven't learned how to type, by the way, so that's cool. Um, anyway, now we're going to create a new event. Now, the event I want to use today for when a user joins is called Guild Member Join Event. So we're just going to do Guild Member Join here, just to, you know, say what it is. And then we're going to extend Listener Adapter because it's a listener. Uh, hopefully you've learned that by now. I've probably been drilling this too much in the previous episodes, but it's pretty important. Anyway, uh, public, uh, we're going to do a quick method here, so public void on guild member join and then guild member join event here so guild member join and then be lazy here event and that didn't help at all so so now just control shift o t import and we've gotten that done okay so now every time a member joins i want it to send a message uh saying that somebody joined but i want it to be a randomized message so it's not always going to be the same message it's going to be a little bit like what discord does for their you know default welcome messages except just nicer in an embed so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this web page uh i have made a paste for you guys to copy from just from some pre-made messages these are basically the discord ones but a few of them that i just kind of liked and i created this little string list now, a string list is basically just a list of strings. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it better, but yeah, we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy this. If you want to make your own string list of messages, you can definitely do that. But just for the sake of this video, I'm literally just gonna use what I made, and it's just gonna have a few messages. You can replace any of these if you want, but just keep in mind that the member here, the placeholder, is where the member's name will go when they join the server. So we're gonna show you how to do placeholders in this video as well. But anyway, let's get started with this. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to pick a random message from this whenever a user joins. So we're gonna create a new thing called a random in Java. And a random it just picks a random number. So I'm just gonna random rand equals new. Uh, there's an equal sign there, <laughs> equals new random. Similar to how we did, you know, instantiating the embed. We can do the same thing here. And we'll scroll down a little bit here and we'll do int number. So this will be the number of the number for the actual string so what this will do is pick a random number and then whatever number it picks it'll pick a different message for each number so we're going to do here pick a random number which is going to be rand dot next integer so it's going to pick the next new number and we're going to do the thing where it, we put messages dot length here so let me explain what this does so basically it has a new random thing which is this this random thing will basically pick a random number every time you call it so the integer number basically stores the number which this random thing picks and the range for the number is between zero to whatever this thing ends at. So the length of this. So what the length of messages means here is the amount of messages that are inside of this list between these brackets. Pretty simple, just picks a number between, well, all of these. So what we'll do here is now that we've picked a random number, we'll use that random number to pick a random message. So let's quickly do here is uh, create an embed, so embed builder. Uh, we're we're going to call it join equals new embed builder. Uh, we've done this a few times already. Hopefully you guys like embeds because I love them and they're great. Um, anyway, so then we're going to set a color. So join.set color. I've also prepared a new color, which is 66D8FF. I think I read that correctly, hopefully, because otherwise it's going to be bad. Also, embed builder, not ember builder. And then join.set description. So we're just going to set a description, which is just going to well, put the actual message. So the description of the embed is going to be the message that we pick. So instead of doing those strings, we're just going to do message messages. So it's going to pick a message from these lists here, messages, and then we're going to do the number of the message. So we're just going to do well, literally number. <laughs> and then we're going to replace member. So the actual placeholder that's literally titled member with the name of the member. So what it'll read out is a wild 
member name appeared. I know that wasn't really helpful. And then event, we want to get the member name, obviously. So event dot get member. And then you want to get as mentioned. So it's going to basically send a mention for them. So like at whatever their name is. And then let's send the message down here. So we'll do event dot get guild. And since this event um, doesn't actually have a channel that is applied to it, we're going to send it to the default channel of the server. So get default channel. And then we're going to send message to there. And we're going to build the embed. So join dot build and dot q. And that's about it for this. Now, the last step to this is obviously registering it in the main class, because if you forget this, it's not going to work. And then you're going to scream at me and then I'm going to you know yeah anyway um so guild member join so just uh, let's see here guild member join there we go import it automatically and now we can run our bot here and let's see what happens it doesn't look like there's any errors now let's go to discord and test a new member join event so i've created a channel called welcome which is where all the welcome messages will go this is our default channel for this server so what we're gonna do just go to welcome here and i've invited a user so let me quickly just have him join and what you'll see is uh huh okay i know exactly why this happened uh the reason is because i went into the code and i put replace all instead of replace so just uh yeah replace all with replace and start that back up uh that was a little bit uh not good so yeah we're gonna wait for that to start up let's go back into our server here all right so now that we fixed our little error there we're gonna quickly go back and invite another user here it's now that i've invited my test user there we go it says it's dangerous to go alone take user so box apis tester in this case we could click on it and it'll say the information about it i just kicked the user again let's invite him again just to show you that the message does change every single time we've been expecting new box vps tester another thing i want to do is i want it to get a role to the user every time a new user joins so we're going to do back into eclipse we're going to terminate our bot's existence as usual and down below this we're just going to add a role so add role and what we're going to do very easy to do here we're just going to do event and we want to get the actual guild, which is the server, and we want to get the controller of the server, which manages a lot of the things related to the server. It's a controller, so. And then we want to add roles to member, and then we want to get the member, so event.get member here, and then roles. Now, we want to fetch a single role, so we're going to do event.get guild, which is going to get the server, and I just messed up a little bit. Get guild. And then we want to get all the roles in the server, so get role by name, or roles by name in this case. And we should put that there. And we're gonna actually put the name of the role. Now I've created a role called members. So that's gonna be for the members. False for ignore case. Actually, we wanna do true for ignore case so that it doesn't really care about the ignore case there. And end off the statement there. And we wanna actually put doc complete at the end of this. And that's about it. That's all we need to do. So event dot get guild get controller, add roles, then we use the member, which we should add the role to, and then we fetch the role over here. So that's about it. Uh, and so let's run it again. Let's see what happens. So again, I have to kick good old box VPS tester off the server. You've been booted. Goodbye. And let's invite him once more here. So I'll click join here. And there we go. Hey, listen, box VPS tester has joined and you'll see his name is green because he has the member role so that's about it that's how that works and also let's add another quick message for whenever a person leaves so this time i'm going to do just a very simple message it's similar to the same uh the same exact event but it's actually guild member leave event so it's a little bit different so we're going to do quick uh quickly create a new class so guild member leave this time and we'll do the same exact thing we're going to extend listener adapter and then we're going to create a method for our event so public void on guild member leave and event there uh, we're gonna put that inside of the parenthesis here and there we go we've created our method so what we're gonna do um, I'm just gonna copy all this <laughs> so I'm gonna copy all this random stuff here and I want it to just do the same exact thing with the embed just a little bit different so I'm gonna go ahead and copy all this stuff here now you could do the same exact thing uh, these messages aren't gonna be the best but let's quickly create a different color so we're gonna do HTML color picker here and I'm just gonna Google a quick color I don't know red and orange let's do like an orange that looks good I'm just gonna copy everything but the hashtag in the front paste it for the color code here um, let's replace that and let's see let's change one let's put the messages just one of them I don't really feel like doing more than one message right now member left the party is over yes the party is over i don't know that's a decent message so uh let's do the exact same thing what we're gonna do is 
We're gonna run the bot before though before we do that. I almost forgot we gotta list We gotta register our listener here So I'm gonna do that event leave and I'm gonna control shift O to import automatically done that Did run the bot once more and you'll see that the bot doesn't have any errors We're gonna go back into our thing here and now that if we kick the user here You'll see box VPS tester left the party's over. So this is our leave message and you can see by that right there so that's about it. Um, that's how this works. Events are very easy. There's multiple events. There's actually a lot of events. I'll leave a guideline down below in the description for all the events that exist in JDA. So you could look over them and just use them. Um, they're all fairly simple. They all extend listener adapter. I'll close this quickly. They all extend listener adapter and they all have this little method here that they use. So fairly simple and you can do a lot of things with uh, listeners. You can do a lot of different things at different times because they basically detect when something happens so you can make your bot a little bit more aware of things that are happening in your server other than that that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this video also i'm going to plug my discord server again down below in the description you'll see a link to my discord server you can uh, click that join my server and uh talk about development things hopefully there's also a meme channel um anyways i'm out i'll see you in the next one <laughs>